What's up everybody? Psych Out back here with another Castle Crush video. Uh, this video is my first attempt at a live YouTube stream, so we'll see how it goes. And forgive me in advance uh, for all the mistakes I am bound to make as we do this. Um, so where are we sitting here? We've got a whole bunch of chests that we can open up and we're gonna do that. Uh, we just finished the Spectre Tournament. Uh, and I have yet to open the tournament chest from that. We finished in uh, ninth place. Yeah, ninth place. So there are the prizes that we get for, uh, for our ninth place finish. So let's go ahead and claim those now. All right. Dwarf, very exciting. And not what I would be hoping for in terms of epics. And boy, three Valkyrie. Wow, that really was disappointing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. So let's, um, let's, we can go back and take a look at the standings and see where everybody finished up. Um, Alpha Project had a pretty good tournament uh, again. And uh, there, yeah, 82 points is what it took to get into the top or uh, 81 points it took to get into the top 10 this time. I think 60 or 61's gotten there before, maybe even 40s. So it's getting tougher. Um, okay, so let's see, we need to open up some chests. I also wanted to show in this video, um, I, I wanted to show some replays. I know that might be boring, um, but we will play live, I promise. I will play these replays in fast mode. So this was the, I did win uh, one more, um, grand turn at the very end using this rush deck uh, and we'll have a rush deck there'll be a rush deck video uh, that I've already recorded that, that I'll show later on uh, this week but here is a rush deck that I used to to win a grand tournament um, I will play them on two times speed just so that we can move through them a little quicker yeah so uh, rush deck, pretty basic stuff here. We want to throw down a warrior. We're going to throw down our boneyard. And, uh, yep. Put the genie behind their creatures. And we're going to play another boneyard. And we're already in pretty good shape. The catapult's coming out. And that's it. <clears throat> so, yeah, pretty, uh, Pretty, sorry, this is a little too loud in my ears. Pretty easy win for round one. And uh, you can see round two. Again, we're playing on two times speed. Pretty good draw. I've got uh, two warriors. I've also got the uh, pirate, which is good. So we'll go warrior. I put the jester there thinking I would put the pirate behind it, which I did do. Unfortunately, um, that didn't work out perfectly, but I, I was able to slow my opponent down quite a bit here, which is kind of nice. And then eventually that boneyard got that thing in the middle. And my opponent, I think here, as I recall, really fights for the middle lane. And basically I just give it to him and put a rage in that top lane and um, just kill him in the other two. But he, he uh, got a hold of that middle lane, I guess. So that was round two. And you'll, so you'll see with these rush decks, the games go quick. Round three against Sir Swindler, who was playing pretty tough in the tournament, playing a Reaper deck here. Again, we go with the Warrior. And here we've got choices. I think I like going for the Pirate and just going ahead to taking out that Jester. And then I'll play the Boneyard. <coughs> and here, I think uh, what happens, yeah, we push it back. And yeah, okay. Yeah, I've got to figure out how to deal with that Reaper. So I decided to just um, yeah, try to eliminate it like this. <clears throat> and it might look bad, but um, we're going to get that Hollow Knight back right now. And there I got the Reaper with my Jester. So we're actually doing more damage to my opponent. And it um, gets dicey there, but we still have another win. We've got another Catapult. Um, and uh, yeah, gets the job done. You'll see Catapult is the way you finish your opponents off with Rush Decks an awful lot. If you haven't been beaten by a Catapult at the end of the game, you really haven't played Rush Decks then. Uh, so here's Nana, who I played a ton in the tournament, um, many, many times. Uh, uh, 
I mean, honestly, we spent so much time together that I thought, uh, you know, maybe we were on a date or something. Um, so yeah, Nana's been playing this uh, Angel deck, pretty popular kind of deck. Uh, we saw a lot of that in the tournament. I have a couple of videos with the Angel decks. Uh, one of them is up. Uh, it's a sort of a Sir Robin kind of deck. So we're not off to a great start here, but now look at that Boneyard. You got skeletons at every point. Um, so that's pretty good. Now, uh, my opponent does have the, uh, yeah, uh, here, I think a Jester. Yeah, Jester's pretty good, but, ah, man, my opponent, good move to play the Angel there. So now I just say, okay, forget all this. I'm just going to go for the attack. And, it, it, you know, it's not looking great. I mean, in a lot of respects, it seems like we're in trouble. Uh, and I think I drop a, what do I do? I go with the, oh, yeah, I guess I'm just waiting on the, the Pirate. Um, <clears throat> another good move to push back. Am I going to drop that Meteor? I guess I decide not to drop that Meteor. I kept thinking I was going to drop the Meteor there, but I was afraid of um, sort of healing up or letting that, uh, uh, um, what is that thing? Oh, man, oh, it's tough. Uh, I think here I go with the Catapult and then a Vampire. <clears throat> I was afraid of killing that phoenix too many times and just letting it get stronger and stronger. So you'll see we make an amazing comeback here. Uh, I think it gets close. Uh, we play Rage. I get down the Genie, and we can push that lane back still, saving the day just in enough time to get the win. Tough opponent, tough game. Uh, and you see we have to play Nana again. So one, two, three, four, round five. Another angel deck. Good draw. Got the warrior. Got the boneyard. Got the hollow knight. Got a jester as well. Now this is. I mean, this is pretty much what you're hoping for in a draw. My opponent's got pretty good defense against me here. We're gonna get a little damage in with the boneyard, and I'm not worried about that. Um, hollow knight up there. Eventually, I know I'm gonna get a. Uh, vampire to deal with it so for now I'm just gonna try to take take them out with my own stuff and look there's a rage and uh, I don't even need the vampire um, because the the catapult with the rage is just um, it, it just does massive damage that was round five so oops round six against uh, some opponent I didn't know playing a uh, sort of a strange deck the idea seems to be to put statues and other uh, blocker creatures in front and use that, like, look at all these blockers. Uh, but in the meantime, I said, okay, you can have those lanes. I will just attack you <laughs> this way, even putting a genie behind his uh, siege ballista. And there's just, I mean, it's just nothing he can do. Um, even, didn't even really need the rage, but I mean, he's got a catapult. I mean, there's just really, way, just way too fast. Nine, eight, seven. So round six against Nana again. Or is it seven? I guess it's round seven against Nana again. As I said, we've played each other a ton, so we're getting very familiar with each other here. We're going to go with the Boneyard, and the plan will be to play that pirate, I think, in the middle lane. <clears throat> Fortunately for us there, we killed that. Uh, killed that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, he's got the vampire out. I don't have a win, so I can't really protect it. But I definitely need to meteor that. Um, yeah. Definitely needed to meteor the, uh, oh, whatever that was there, the, the angel, so that he couldn't have that stack. And, and there the boneyard at the end got us the win. So we also had a genie coming and, and, and you know, lots of ways to win once we had already done that much damage. 10, 9, 8 is against another opponent I didn't know playing a reaper deck. So I've been saving this replay since last night when I finished. I didn't play a single game today. So I didn't have a great draw here. I did get the Boneyard. My opponent has. Uh, I decide I want to throw this out here, and I think it's going to get it just in time. But uh, then we go Vampire, and at that point I knew the game was pretty much over. I've got the Boneyards all at the castle, and uh, his attack with the Reaper completely failed. So thankfully we saved... Save things with our with our Hollow Knight and Vampire. 
And then game nine, another opponent I didn't recognize playing a very mixed deck. Again, uh, this is another one of these, and I think he even Metamorphs. Yeah, Metamorphs and gets the Warrior. So I'm not going to worry about that. I figure I can attack faster and do more damage than he can, so we'll get that Warrior later. Okay, looks a little threatening with all the skeletons, but we have an answer for that. And I probably should have put the genie behind the uh, mage, but oh well. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this just works perfectly. <clears throat> Didn't even need the catapult or the meteor there. And uh, finally, game 10. Look at this deck. My opponent has so many little creatures, skeletons, and uh, uh, yeah, hello, hey. Oh, the first person watching. Um, yeah, I didn't know anybody would actually pick up the channel. Good morning, yeah. Well, it's night here. Uh, almost 10 p.m. Uh, okay. So, yeah, look at this opponent's deck. I mean, it's uh, lots of little creatures. <laughs> I'm like, man, how am I going to deal with this? It's like a rush deck, but, but crazier. Now, that top lane, definitely going to deal with a vampire on that one. I go ahead and rage just so I can uh, make sure I get everything. And it also helps that genie do lots of damage. And look at my opponent doing lots of damage to my castle. But I do have wind coming and uh, that vampire with the rage and all that in the top lane was just doing too much work too fast. So, um, yeah. So that was our grand tournament victory. I already collected the chest for that, obviously. And you saw at the beginning we got our uh, ninth place uh, ninth place uh, tournament chest. Okay, so let's open these chests up, and then we're going to play some games. And I'm probably going to lose a bunch, so that'll be fun. Uh, okay, could upgrade the genie, which is a card I don't play. Yeah, let's see here. Um, why did I get gold? Oh, I've reached the max amount for the golem that I have not upgraded. Okay. And an angel, that's cool. Getting close on the Dryads. I've been requesting Dryads. I need 32 more to upgrade that. And then I might actually play it in the deck. I haven't even I haven't played Dryad in the deck in a long time. So here's our magical chest. More Black Knights. That's awesome. All right. Only 107 Black Knights to go <laughs> until we can have a max level Black Knight. Okay, we're going to donate a card. And, uh, yeah. So let's see, uh, it says there's something in the store, but there isn't because I've already maxed, I learned this earlier today, I've already maxed my archers, which is apparently the card that's supposed to be in the store. Even though I haven't maxed out my archers uh, in terms of paying for them with uh, gold, um, I can't get any more archers, so oh well. Um, all right, so let's see what deck I have set up here, and we will do some battles. Uh, okay, so this is the deck that I've been playing a little bit. This is Romaine's deck. Uh, let's start with that one and see see where we can get. Okay, Camelot. I don't remember what Camelot plays, but it's probably a skeleton attack deck or Reaper deck. Uh, I've played this person before. Yeah, it's a Reaper deck. Okay. Will I draw my shock? Uh, will I get a good landing for my boneyard? Okay, pretty good. Come on, kill that thing. Kill it. Yeah, there we go. That was good. Good result. Play another Boneyard. Okay, okay, maybe it's not a Reaper deck. It might be a Skeleton. Some sort of, oh no, that's no good. That is gonna try to do a ton of damage. So we gotta get an Angel behind that. Okay, yeah, it's a Skeleton deck, not a Reaper deck after all. <clears throat> oh, I, don't, I don't know what the heck the point of that is. I don't think that's gonna get anything. Oh no, that was the point of it. There we go. Okay, come on. Come on. I feel like I'm getting slide. Okay, there's a Reaper. Got it. Got it. Okay, so we're in good shape now. Um, is he going to play another Reaper or something here? No, he's going to go there. Oh, and then switch lanes. Okay, interesting. We got an answer for that. And that's going to be the game. All right, good game. Uh, I know a few went where have you said hi there. Hi, I, I missed it. I was in full concentration mode uh, on the game. So sorry, I missed whatever you said there. Okay, so should we open that one? Well, let's wait. Let's see if we get some some cooler chest. I don't know, I just got a magical chest. Uh, okay, Zanoli plays uh, Unchained Demon. 
Uh, and so <laughs> I actually know his tendencies. First, we'll see if he plays the, no, no storm. He usually plays the storm in the top lane when he gets the storm. If he doesn't get the storm, oh, wow, metamorph, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, I should have known. Oh, man, that's not a good place for my, uh, oh, man, this is not setting up to be good. Okay, it's not a good place for my Boneyard to land. And he's going to giant growth that thing because that's what he always does. And we're going to play an angel. And um, we're going to see what happens. Because I actually do not know what will happen. Ah, there's what's going to happen. That's bad. We're going to push everything back. <coughs> okay, now he's used one Inferno. So let's go here. And see if we can't make this work. Yeah. Okay. Now the problem is I've used the wind already. Arg! I'm in trouble. I think I mean, Zanoli is the best, absolutely the best Unchained Demon player there is. Gotta freeze it. Gotta go for it here. He's probably gonna heal. Yeah. Yep. Does he have. Oh, he had a second heal. Oh, that's so brutal. That is so brutal. A second heal. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. No. This isn't even going to do anything. Uh, he had a second heal. I thought he already used the heal. Did he get three heals that game? I think he had three heals that game. Oh, man, minus 43 for that, too. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. with. The, he's the only player. I mean, I'm sorry. If you play Unchained Demon, you're terrible. The only person who's any good at the Unchained Demon deck is this player right here. Um, man, I feel like he got three heals that game. I'm not going to replay it. That's pretty lucky. I, I thought he would be out of heals there, but... Um, oh well. And, you know, it would have been nice to draw my win more than once since he drew plenty of heals. Anyway, uh, should we switch decks or should we stay with that one? Vote now. What else can we play? Uh, we could play this thing. This is angel deck that everybody plays. We could play... This is like a Sir Robin, a variant of Sir Robin's deck. We could play that one. Uh, this is like the deck I just showed, sort of another one of these angel decks. I think the only difference here is we've got a spike statue instead of Inferno. Or we could play this Valkyrie power deck we've played before. Let's play, let's go back to Romain's deck for at least, at least one more game. Man, a minus 40 whatever sucks. Oh. Got pretty unlucky with that Boneyard coming right. I mean, he, he metamorphed. <laughs> he metamorphed my, yeah, pretty much I killed myself because he metamorphed the Jester and then my entire Boneyard, except for two skeletons, ran right into his, right into his Jester that he metamorphed. So, yeah, if that goes in a different lane, okay, Logan. Uh, rush deck player. Mm, okay. Not real thrilled with the draw here. We'll almost never get the dragon out against Rush anyway, so let's just scrap it. I mean, we're going to hope to get the dragon out. That would be nice, but... Um, okay, let's see. He's going to go with the Jester there. That makes sense. Hopefully he doesn't have two Jesters, but Rush decks. Yes, of course he does. Why wouldn't he have two Jesters? Because that's how the game works. Okay, let's put this here. Yeesh. Now he's going to play a vampire. Get ready with freeze. Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh, he missed. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. He's not going to be happy about missing that. Okay. Gosh darn it. That really sucked. Man, what a lucky boneyard that was. What a lucky boneyard. Okay, we're going to push this one back. Uh, we are saving the... Uh... Oh, hey, everybody. Okay, what is that going to do? I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed with my shock. Darn it. Where is this catapult? That's what I'm wondering. Where is the catapult? Why hasn't he played a catapult yet? Um, okay, okay. Oh, well, there's that. Jeez. Does he not play with catapult? I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a rush deck without catapult. Great. 
All right. Well, now we're going to need to get my... Where's my vampire? Okay. This might actually work. This might actually work. Yep. There we go. There's my vampire. It's about as good as you could hope for there. Oh, you got to be kidding. Let me push that back. I thought he had catapult. Does he not have catapult? Oh my god. You got to be kidding with that bone yard. That's so lucky. All right, let's play her. <clears throat> okay, so we're actually in decent shape. Actually in decent shape. Okay, crap. Okay, we gotta go here because he's gonna have another stupid. Uh, okay, I'm gonna shock that. All right. Wow, uh, I'm surprised. I thought I didn't realize that Logan's rush deck does not play catapult. I'm sitting there saving my, uh, saving the bl black witch for catapult, and one never arrives. So anyway, that's. I mean, I, question, I don't know, the fan dancer instead of the catapult, I don't know, I guess the idea there is that the fan dancer can take out angels and there's so many angel decks running around. I don't know, I don't know if that, that makes the most sense. Let's go need some cards and let's go get another victory chest. So cool, game against Logan, we got some of our trophies back there. This guy I do not know, he's got a level 13 castle though. That's a lot of castle health. We'll play the angel first. He's already got a crystal, so we're already one one behind. I'm guessing it's some sort of power deck then. Okay, and our entire boneyard's in one lane. This is probably bad. It's really not what you want to get. All right, now what's he gonna do? Okay, he's gonna go there. Uh, that's fine. We're gonna go here. We're not gonna be in a hurry. We're gonna get that extra skeleton. And he's going to play some giant creature now. What will the giant creature be? Oh, that's weird. Ah, shock it. Kill it. Kill that. Yeah, there we go. Now, I don't mind. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind this. This looks bad, but um, it's going to be okay because we're going to go here. Grab this. Okay, that sucks. Here. And then we're going to go here. Okay, that also sucks. So we're going to try to go here again. Try to kill all of those big critters. Yep. Doing okay. We're hanging in there. Jeez. Just ridiculous. Ah. Faster. Faster, play faster. All right. Oh, God damn it. Oh, this is going to be brutal, guys. This is brutal. He's got so many cards so fast. So many cards so fast. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to go here. I'm going to have to freeze it. Ugh. Uh. Oh, you got to be kidding. Here. Oh my god. Right. Well, this is going to be a disaster, I'm afraid. Come on, come on, kill the dragon. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes. And kill that angel too. And meantime, wow, didn't even notice. Did not even notice my shaman doing work in that bottom lane. I didn't even notice it. He didn't notice it. Ends up being a flawless victory. Sure didn't feel like a flawless victory. Tough battle. Good game there. Okay. Uh, one more chess slot to fill. Who's Arthur? Arthur from Bazookas. Do I know Arthur? There's an Arthur in our clan. I don't know. Is this the same Arthur? I don't think it's the same Arthur. Uh, yeah, Valerio is my friend. Use what? Use Spectre sticker? No, I don't do that. No, I don't, I don't, uh, uh, I don't taunt my opponents. Uh, okay, bomb. I mean, I'm not even paying attention. You guys are distracting me. I don't even know what my opponent's playing. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
resurrection. The most uh, cowardly deck. The most cowardly of decks. Go! Yeah, get a mage. Watch him, he's gonna resurrect. He's gonna resurrect those guys. That's what they do. Oh, shock. Uh, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Why were you so slow, shock? Ay, ay, ay. All right, is he gonna play any skeleton? What the deck is this? Lightning bolt? I did not expect a lightning bolt. I thought this was some kind of. This is an overtime deck? He's been playing OT? He is playing OT. Oh, it's one of these decks. It's a, like this spam a llama whatever deck. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we're going to stop that stuff right now. Okay. We're going to put a stop to a lot of this. It's a, one of these spammy OT decks. Um, oh, well, that didn't work at all. Why is it just like a YouTube live lag? Is that what we got going on here? Um, man. This is bad, this is all bad, this is all bad. Although, let's see, he has played how many, oh jeez, okay, lightning bolt. Well played. Oh, that's not gonna help you much. That is not gonna help you much. What happened? What happened in that middle lane? I missed it. Well, he finally did some damage to my castle. It was hardly any, but it was some, technically. Technically, it was damage to my castle. So we can't give him, uh, we, can't, we can't complain that he did nothing. <clears throat> but uh, in the end, he got destroyed. Good game. And I got plus two. Look at this. You play these overtimey decks and you get plus two. Really? Terrible. Yeah, I guess it wasn't overtime. Felt like overtime because the crystals, and he has more castle health than me because he's castle 12. Okay, so it wasn't overtime. It was this, and, you know, these decks are weird. I've seen a couple of different people play these. I don't really understand the point of them, um, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, if you're going to play that, play a Spectre. If you're going to play that, oh, hi, hi, everybody. Do I have, what? I have Vampire, Archer, Green Storm. What legendary should I do? What? I can't see. Do you think I, oh, and Shaman. Should you get next? Dragon. Dragons. Dragon's a great card. Um, yeah, definitely go for Dragon, I think. Uh, I mean, Skull Queen, if you want to play one of these lazy skeleton decks that are very popular because you don't have to be very good. You just push Skeleton, 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 and then they just run out there, and then you play your Skull Queen and hope that it wins. Um, if, you, if you like to do that kind of game, then you can get a, get a Skull Queen. But otherwise, um, my recommendation is the Dragon. Dragon's a fun card. Uh, okay, uh, let's see, your tournament positions. I finished uh, ninth, ninth. At the very beginning of this video, I showed, uh, showed my, my uh, yeah, well, I can just show it here, uh, that I finished ninth and I opened the chest. So if you go back all the way to the very beginning of this video, I don't know how you do that, uh, but, but eventually, uh, somehow or another, this will be up on YouTube. You can go check it out there. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks. It was a good tournament. Look at this. Look at my teammates. Look at Romaine and Lord and Ravello. Uh, Vishu had a great tournament. Not my teammate, but still very good. Uh, Lady Neri, Amarnetto is a guy. Uh, Mr. Goods I don't know very well. We didn't play too much. I think only once or twice during the tournament. Brenton, Manamel, Tenodius, Ro <laughs> Romaine's second account, Lordito. I mean, look at this. And Pinky. I mean, Pinky, he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty good. Um, you know, I mean, lots of, lots of people. Oh, hey, Fidel. Wow. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you're good, too. I don't like playing against you, <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. We've, we filled all these up. What should we do? Oh, I know. What else? I have not played my maxed out game yet today, so we should do this. Let's see what deck I have set up. Oh man, should I? Uh, yes, you too, Fidel. Good game. Yeah, we we had, we did have at least one game this tournament. I think we played at least a couple times, maybe. I'm not 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 totally remembering. So should I upgrade this thing? What's about the clan Indian Risers? Yeah, the Indian Risers clan. They all play Reaper decks. That's all I know about them. I know I know a couple of guys from Indian Risers. They used to be in in AP, uh, and, and uh, yeah, they're I mean they're they're pretty good. But I mean they all play Reaper decks. That's what I've noticed that they are. Reaper connoisseurs. I mean, I'm sure there's people in there who don't play Reaper decks, but but um, lots of them, lots of them play play uh, Reaper decks. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, Skull King. Should we upgrade this? 
Or should I just, like, I mean, I don't play him in the deck right now. I used to play Skull King all the time, but, you know, um, I don't really play him. Should we upgrade him? I mean, it's going to cost me 50000 Okay, let's do it. Let's upgrade the Skull King. Just so we can make it easier on ourselves to win these daily mode games. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Fidel. Yeah, I didn't, I, you know. Um, it's it's tough sometimes when you, when you draw when you draw good opponents. I mean, I know there's lots of people in the tournaments that I do not like. I do not like to run into. Uh, I, I I don't know what his record is against me, but it's probably like 50 and one. Um, uh, is the uh, um, is Sir Robin, and he just crushes me in the tournament. I don't know why. Other people in my clan can beat him. I lose to him all the time. And he's definitely the person I hate to see the most. And it always happens. I get to round 10 or round 9, and sure enough, boom, Sir Robin. That's who I draw. So, um, okay, to play with the Reaper Masters. You know, I used to play Reaper, you know. I'm actually not so bad with Reaper myself. i got a few videos on here you can see on my channel with Reaper. Not, not too terrible. But, yeah, the Indian Risers are very good Reaper players, too. But you know what? The best Reaper player in the world, in my opinion... Is not Romaine. Romaine's very good with the Reaper. Obviously, he's taught a lot of people how to play Reaper. The best Reaper player in the world, right there. Yeah, this player. Look at this. You guys see that? You see that there? Castle nine. Okay. He's not. I don't even know why. This isn't even the deck he plays. This was a tournament deck, I think, or something that he was playing. Uh, yeah. This is a Reaper player right here, and a very good one. Castle nine. Over 7,000 trophies, okay? Good Reaper player. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Risers are good. Don't get me wrong. Risers are very good. <laughs> yeah, not, not knocking on the Risers. Okay, let's play one of these battles. Too much talking. Let's crush some castles. That's what we're here to do. Okay, Alan. Don't know Alan. Brazil Elite. I think Alan's going to lose. That's what I predict. Because my cards are going to be a lot better than Alan's. Yeah, he's got a level 5 Black Knight. That seems good. But it's going to have a real problem. And that is my level 7 Black Knight. Oh, no. He played those skeletons up there in time. That was good for him. That was good. Oh, and he healed it. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, man. Look at that. And he giant growth did. Uh, what are we going to do here? Why don't we just freeze it and then grab it with our... With our uh, yeah. Oh, that was a good move. It's okay. We can deal with it. Oh, man. Look at this trickster. He's a trickster. Oh, this looks bad. It looks bad. It looks bad. Are we worried? Are we worried? Should we be worried? I don't think so because we're here and we'll kill that Black Knight. And then bye-bye. All right. Good game. Oh. He almost did damage to my castle there, too. Almost, but not quite. Yeah. yeah. Wind is a good card. Um, yeah, okay, so what do we get? Ooh, two Infernos. Okay, I can donate those. Uh, now what should we do? We need to get three more wins for the victory chest. Should we play more max style games? I mean, you know, there's no trophies, or should I play some trophy games? And if I play trophy games... Which deck should I use? I can use this one, the Romaine style deck. I can use this. Uh... You guys wait. This week I have two, three, or four. Three or four. What do I see? Uh... Oh, thanks. Thank you. Castle Nine and eight. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Um... Uh... Yeah. Three or four videos I'll have coming up this week. Uh, recordings of tournament wins but different decks he, uh, a couple of them are the same deck but but uh, different different tournament deck wins which I think is pretty cool not a lot of people win the tournament different decks Romaine does it but he wins a million tournaments so that doesn't really count um, and I think Pinky's done it as well but most people win the tournament over and over again with the same deck not this guy different decks um, so let's play let's play this one this was a deck that was popular my trophies are less than Kev at 7K. That's true. I did lose a few times over the tournament weekend. It's tough. Uh, when you lose at that level, you, you, you know, the, the thing is that I, I love A. Alexa. A. Alexa's great, but A. Alexa hasn't played a game in um, a month. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, 
So they have actually been sitting at 7,024 for a while, and it's a damn good accomplishment, so I understand why. Um, but it's tough to stay above 7,000 because when you start losing, you lose 47, you lose 47 trophies. You saw me lose a game earlier, and I lost like 42 or 43. Okay, Tim. Tim, Tim, I don't remember what Tim plays. I'm going to guess it's a skeleton attack deck because that's what everybody plays. Or a reaper. Okay. Yep, here it comes. It's Resurrection, everyone's favorite deck. What is Tim gonna do? I don't know, we're gonna go here. I don't wanna play my Angel yet because, um, yeah, okay, here it comes, Resurrection. Because if you play the Angel, they will play the, why does Stelly have, leave the CC family? I don't know. Did he leave? I didn't know he left. Okay, so here comes uh, another card that's going to annoy me, the Skull Queen. Um, how are we going to deal with it? Okay, he's going to play He's going to play a ton of skeletons down in that bottom lane. You know he is. What? Is he really going to let me get that? Ah, quick. Yes. Yes. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? That was a bad move. That was bad. Should have played this out in front. This was bad. No. Oh, that's not going to get there in time. That's not going to get there in time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is good news. This is how you beat these decks. The only way to really beat these um, Reaper uh, Skeleton Attack decks is to... Let's just kill all that. Let's just kill all that. Is to get Angels behind your cards like uh, the Hollow Knight, Angels behind the, um, the Jester. Because you might think, well, the Jester, that's great against Skeletons. Uh-uh. They'll run a Skeleton Swarm at it, and then they'll run another Skeleton Swarm at it, and then they'll kill your Jester, and then they'll just run a million more Skeletons, and they'll kill you. And you'll be like, well, I had a Jester, but it won't matter, because they'll kill it. And then they'll get a Skull Queen out there, and they'll kill it even faster. So you, you got to hit the Angel out there. That's the way to beat these decks, and you see you can just crush them when you do. Um, but you notice I was careful not to play the Angel too early, because if you give away where your Angel is early, yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not dumb. They're actually pretty smart, your opponents. They will play the uh, Fan Dancer in that lane, and they'll kill your Angel, and then you won't have your stack anymore, and, and then you'll cry. And you don't want to cry. You want to win, so, um, so don't do that. So anyway, we got seven points there. What, how, what do we have so we need? We need two more wins. Um, so that was a different deck. Should we play another one? Let's play a different deck again. Oh, this will be fun. Nobody even knows I played this deck. This will be fun. Nobody even knows. So hopefully I get an opponent who plays me a lot. Lord. PR? Yeah, from Phoenix Rising. Okay. I don't play Lord a lot. I think Lord might play Reaper or something like that. Um, so this should be fun. Yeah. I do know Lord. I just don't play him that much. Okay, let's play this first. Arg! It is Reaper. That's what I thought. Okay, we're going to go here. Bam. Bam. some of these skeletons and he's going to protect and what's, what's the deal with that I just don't know what to do I don't know what to do okay I'm going to go here I guess I don't know what to do I don't know what to do he's going to switch lanes no he's not going to switch lanes arg can't allow that cannot allow that got to go here now with the angel there we go Okay, here we go. Bam. Ah! Is that going to do real damage? Oh, no. Oh, I switched it just in time. Yes. Oh, I didn't get that out in time, though. Okay. Let's go here. And I think we're going to get the win. I'm going to switch lanes just in case. All right, good game. Yeah, he did not see your caps lock keys on. Oh, not mine. Oh, Fidel's cap lock keys on. Oh, I couldn't see what it says. Yeah, I reached 7,000 trophies at level 11. It's hard, man. It's hard. Look at this. I just beat a Reaper deck from a good player. Lord is a good player. And he had a Reaper deck. And I get, what did I get? My reward, three trophies. Brutal. I mean, it's hard to get to 7,000. And I even played a different deck. Look at that. Man. That's like a Sir, uh, a Sir Robin deck. I have a video, two videos. Two videos coming this week. Sir Robin decks. This deck right here. 
that I played in the tournament and crushed some castles with it, nobody knew. Nobody knew I was playing this deck. And then they knew I was playing this deck, and everybody started copying Sir Robin's deck, and it had to be different. But this deck's cool. But you got to train with it. It's not like a Reaper deck. It's it's got some similarities, but you got you got, there's a lot of tricks. You'll see some of those tricks in the videos that are that are coming that are coming this week. Um, okay, that's a deck that's too similar to another one we played. Let's let's try to get let's try to get our victory chest with this one. We haven't played with this one yet on this video. Can we get a victory and can we get 13 trophies? A wounder. Okay, uh, so this player is a good player also. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got one crystal. He got a crystal. I think he plays like a skeleton deck or something like that. Arg! Here comes. Ah! This is not a good draw. This is not a good draw. I don't have any of my spike statues. Uh, this, is, this is a bad draw. Um. I guess we'll go here and see what he does. I'm go here. Uh, uh, we need to do a lot of damage quickly. Come on, quickly, 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 quickly. Yes, we did it. Okay, put a spike statue down. Aha! <laughs> ah, that worked so well. in that way. Um, hmm. What's he got? What's he gonna do? Oh no, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I need a spike statue. Whoops, I'm crushing him in that top lane though. Yep, got him. Woohoo! Plus two. Plus two. Come on. Seriously. Okay, well, uh, we got the victory chest. So let's see what we got. Out of soda. More gold for having too many golems. <laughs> they buffed golem. I still don't use it. Um, man, hard to get 7,000 trophies when you win all your games and still can't get there. I mean, what did we start at? What did, what, did, what did I start at tonight? How many have I played? Okay, these were from the tournament, so they didn't count. Oh, wait, I forgot I lost. Whoops, <laughs> I forgot I lost 43 there. All right, so we got 7 minus 43 plus 29. That was a good one. Plus 22, that was nice. Plus 2. That game was an in-game mode, plus seven, plus three, plus two. Not fun. Not fun. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So what, what was Warner's deck? Yeah. This is kind of like, um, not exactly. It's got some similarities to Wild Tiger's deck, but not quite the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Cool deck idea, though. It's definitely unique. I give him some credit. Points for uniqueness. Okay, um, should we wrap it up? I mean, is that enough? Uh, I mean, you know, there's nothing for me to do here in the store. A dragon, you know, we've already got enough of those. Um, or should I go for one more and end on a loss? Yeah, maybe we should call it quits. Maybe I should end on a win. I think that's going to be it, guys. Uh, look, thanks for stopping by for those of you who came by and checked in on the live game. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, be on the lookout for the videos that are coming this week uh, from the tournament. I think, uh, I think you'll enjoy those. That was a lot of fun. And um, thanks for stopping in. And uh, if you like this, give it a like. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.